in terms of direct resourcing, uh, the government has put forth, especially for the older workers, skill future credits. If you are above 50 years old, essentially you have $1,500 of skills futures credit if you have not used them. And NTUC, knowing the challenges of the uh, age group above 40, we have also doubled our resources to $500 up to 2020, so that when a worker above 40 wants to go uh, for job training, well, we will make it accessible by providing up to $2,000 in fee support for you. In, in addition to that, at the job fairs where there are E2I and other offices around, we will also help workers access other possibilities in the government programs from MOM like career support schemes, PCP, so and so forth, place and trained. So there are support alongside for the workers that may be anxious, do step forward to seek this assistance and we'll give you the best welfare we know of and that is a job. The last point I want to make is that there is indeed still a hard journey ahead. Uh, there is a need to recognise the realities of the challenges of COVID-19. So in the next six months to 12 months, we do see that there will be more retrenchments that will be on the horizon. But the government has put together concrete plans to uh, create jobs, to do the necessary skills matching with our tripartite partners. These are concrete plans that already have some initial results. We don't make uh, empty promises. We don't sweet talk you but give you the realities but also the accompanying support to make sure that you are taken care of.